Hello guys and welcome to week one of the DV or DLV, aka the Dead League V. The V does not stand for five, it is just a fancy letter. But we're going against Wonderland Ice or Moon or Lost. Um, I'll be using all those names in this video, but our team is a team. And if you saw the last um, video, well, you know why I brought these Pokemon and why I built like this. But I am severely scared. Um, I'm gonna lose week one. It obviously pretty much proves that I'm going to hap that's gonna happen. He's gonna lead with Glissapod, I'm gonna lead with What Pokemon shall I lead off with? I feel like Raikou Touch Me is definitely a Pokemon that I can lead off with and it'd be decently well, but I feel like if he leads off literally anything but this, it does nothing. But I have to lead with it. So I'm gonna lead off with this. Um, I'm gonna hope that everything goes really well. <laughs> I'm actually really hoping everything goes well. Everything could go terribly. Like, I could lose this battle because of how, like, I prepped. I didn't feel like my team felt like... I feel like his team had so many hard hitters. I had to run, like, some bulky Pokemon. But thinking about it, I could have just ran, like, more of an offensive team. But his offensive Pokemon Glissapod um, has priority, which pretty much destroys everything I have. Also, I'm gonna make sure I'm recording. I am recording, but yeah, I'm gonna cut till he goes to a move because this might take a while. Okay, so he sent out his ammo swine. Okay, I feel so good about this. I'm gonna press guard right now. I feel like my low ticks, um move is so useless if he doesn't run a special Victini. Um, mail coat, but I'm gonna press guard. It definitely gets rid of this Malmo swine or it does a decent amount of damage. Um, I knew I should have lead off with Absol pretty much immediately, but he might be scaled enough. If I had Mail Coat, not Mail Coat, but Magic Coat right now, he'd definitely be scaled. Um, I lead off with Milotic. Um, I really hope he's like very scared of me doing enough damage to him to kill him. And he switches out, which prevents him from getting rocks up, but he's just gonna get rocks up and pretty much kill me almost immediately. Uh, I'll be right back though. Okay, so he sent out Victini. Do I not have animations on? No, I have animations on. Um, I didn't uh, see that, but I of course went to the door because my dog wanted in to my bedroom. So I'm in for Scott again. Hope he doesn't... Okay, he pressed U-turn. That did nothing, by the way. Um, I'm actually going to count that. I want to know this Victini set. I have a feeling it's Scott now. Damage... Where's my damage calc? There we go. Damage calc. Um, my low tick, like you touch me. Victini, is it banded? I don't think it's banded. It might be banded. Uh, look at this damage right here. How much he did? He did 22%. He might be banded. He might be banded. Oh, it might be really high choice scarf. Oh, it has to be banded. It's banded as everything. Uh, why did you go up to this? It's good what this thing can do. Is it gonna start commanding on me? I'm gonna press God. I'm gonna hope I can get a bone on it. Um, I obviously can't do anything else. Actually, I, there's so much I could do. Yeah, no. You get out of here. <laughs> you get out of here. <laughs> you stop that. You don't do that. I'm gonna press Mirror Code. I, I, okay. I'm gonna press Dragon Tail again. Okay, this is the Pokemon I wanted to have out. I'm gonna press Recover. I'm gonna press Scald, hope I do enough damage. He can't kill me. Um, it pretty much proves that he is Banded Victini. He can definitely kill me with Banded Victini. But, I'm so happy I ran Dragon Tail on my low tick. He definitely saw my low tick and thought it was free real estate. Nah. Uh, he really thought it was like, uh, pretty much a win right though. He was like, oh, uh, he's obviously not gonna run anything for that. No, 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 I ran my Dragon Tail. Which is dope. Uh, he could very well switch out, but if he stays in to click for some pressions, um, I do have a chance to bond. If he doesn't stay in, um, I just do damage. I can particularly get a bond on something other than the Victini. If the Victini comes in, though, it's going to die. Um, I feel like this Milotic does work. Yeah, he's going to sound his Sableye Mega again. I'm going to... I can't get a bond. I'm going to press Recover. It pressed Recover. I'm going to get press Scott again. Um, I don't know why he's helping. Um, I'm gonna press. I can. I'm fishing for a bond right now. I'm really fishing for a bond. I want one bond. 
and then I can pretty much stop playing. Um, really risky. One born? Nothing like that? Okay, if I don't recover right now, I'm dead. Uh, I'm in a squad. Can I get one born? No? One born is all I'm asking for. And he is probably gonna... Okay, he pressed claw mine again. Great. Um, Dragon Tail, that threw this thing out. I do not want this in. Um, I'm gonna press recover on whatever he does. Um, it's not a 30% chance to squad bond, by the way. It's definitely not. It's more like a 5% for me. And 100% for anyone else. He, why does he go into this? If I get a bond, I will feel confident going out to Absol. Okay, he has to press it. He has to press recover right here. He, if he didn't, I pretty much won the battle right there if I played. Um, this Milotic is going to get PB starred a little bit. Okay, if I calc this correctly. And let me import my set. Let me import my team. Dude, my, like, I'm shaking of, like, I need to win this. I want to get assist O so bad. Whoa, why did everything just die? Imported successfully. Mega Absor, Absolute. He has a Mega Sabler. Oh, your usage. Play with, I need to get, no, wait, 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 wait. It do, if I get a high roll, I kill. And keeping my low tech at this much HP would be way worth it. If he really was right here, he's a god, but he's not a god. Um, you might think he lives. Um, if I get a low roll, he definitely lives. Um, I had to calc that. I can't risk, I don't know if I calc special defensive. Oh no. I didn't calc special defensive. Oh, I'm physically defensive. I oh, know. <laughs> you can hear me shaking. Like, I don't want to lose this. And getting rid of Sableye would help me immensely. But I feel like Sableye is a um, it's a Pokemon that I can sit up on with my Lotic, not my Lotic, with Manaphy, and potentially even my Silvavi. So I don't really want it to go down, but it has to go down. Um, if he is not physically defensive, he can speak. Uh, if he's I did I switch? I want to get my Mega up. I really want to get my Mega up. Um, I ran Threshold. I should have ran Super Luck. <sighs> mistakes, mistakes, mistakes. Uh, he's thinking. He's calking probably. Um, I don't know what he's going to do. I'm really scared of what he's going to do. He can definitely do a lot of things. That scares me to no end. He's going to stay in. I'm going to play rough. Hopefully... Oh, that didn't do enough. Please don't recover. He will respond. <gasps> okay. I'm going to knock off. Um, I don't want to reveal Pursuit. And if, if he switches out, um, I believe anything can pretty much outspeed this and kill it. Um, I don't know why he will wisp um, He probably thought I wasn't going to Mega. Uh, but I have no reason not to Mega. I get maybe more defense. I don't think I do. Um, but I do get a lot more speed and attack. Uh, this thing comes in, which gives me to no end. Um, but I have Law Hats. The Togekiss. Um, and I'm going to press reflect, and this is where the battle pretty much ends. Um, uh, this is where the battle ends for me. I'm going to Z-Rain Dance. I'm not going to Z-Rain Dance. I'm going to Scarred regularly. Okay. How much money do you want to bet he's going for? I have a feeling that he's going for um, Indoor Salak Berry. Oh my god, I'm going out to Absol. Absol's pretty useful. He went for hit of power! I got played! Oh no! I don't know what hidden power that was, but I feel like he predicted me to come out to this. But Silvavi is definitely bulky enough, it might scale him out. Um, really, I'm really hoping he's locked into this, so he has to pretty much switch. Um, depending on what he goes through. But if he's not, um, I definitely come in, and then I think I pretty much win with... Absol was definitely a key play. I don't know why I sacked it. I definitely think I can win once I get rid of this. This is a scary mon. Especially if it's Scoff. Um, he predicted my Absol, and I shouldn't have played that risky, but I like playing risky. Um, I'm gonna play a little bit more safe now, but this might be a mind game where he thinks, um, or where he knows he killed my Mega Absol. Uh, because I made a risky play, and I might go into safe. 
more safest zone. I would play which one, whichever way I feel like it. But I feel like playing a little bit more risky might be really risky. Like, really, really risky. <laughs> he indoors. Oh no. That's hilarious. So, he has indoor. Okay, well, I didn't know Parting Shot worked like that. I mean, I should have thought that out, but he does really has Magic Bounce now, not um, Cycle Nodes or whatever this thing is. So, that's great. Uh, what's he going out to? He's going out to Victini. Do you think he can kill me? I think he thinks he can kill me. He can't kill me. Yeah, that does not kill. It does a lot of damage. Sure. Uh, but it does not kill. And that pretty much proves that he's banded. I definitely know that's banded damage. But I can definitely just see Rain Dance right now. Um, get my Rain Dance up. Um, I'm gonna Tail Glow predicting the indoor. He can't get. He if he goes for. He knows. He knows I know he has indoor. And that's pretty much that's really scary. But I'm gonna go for Tail Glow. He indoors. Okay. He might go for it again. This is the only way he wins. If he gets a double endor, which is totally possible, I've gotten double endors. Um, he goes out to Galizapod, that's... And it gets spawned. That's amazing. Uh, my first Skardborn of the match, that did nothing. He But he gets a Moji S out, he goes back out to Espeon. He's gonna predict me to go for... I mean, he can't kill me either way, he goes for Endor. Um, he gets the Psylocke Berry, but he cannot kill my... Manaphy, I know that for a fact, I'm just gonna go for Scard. Um, he, even if he's, he might be timid nature, or not timid, but modest nature, which might speed tie, but yeah, he definitely can't kill me. Um, he, the only way he can win this is to go out to hit only, fake out, and uh, force some presence with this, obviously. Uh, that actually does a decent amount of damage. Um, now he's played the guard to hit only, and press fake out, and just try to win. Uh, I really want to get a photo now. My core of Sisso is pretty much gone, but getting a photo is pretty great. Um, I was not confident in this team at all. I know I said in the last video I was really confident with this team, but I am not confident at all. And I think that pretty much shows of the way I feel. I feel very, like, shaky and how I feel like any move I go for um, can pretty much make the make or break. Is he Scarf Mammal? I shot it's not going to kill. He might be sla um, Sash at Memo, but if I get a Bone right now, that doesn't really matter. He's definitely Sash. But if I get a Bone right now, that, that'd be dope. I don't get it, and actually, he might have, if, if I got a Bone, I think I definitely would have, not definitely would have won, but I definitely would have had a higher chance to winning. Uh, he can go for Earthquake now. I want to see how much damage that does. Okay, I just need to think. Uh... How much damage does that does? That does a decent amount of damage. Ugh. I'm going for Scarred. I have to really hope for Bonds. Um, this thing can come in. This thing is a monster. This Fictini right here. You see this Fictini? Okay. Not this Not this side. I have to actually use both sides equally. This is a choice of banded Fictini versus my Melo tip. Physically different. Okay. Why can you touch me? Hmm. Can I live? I need to see my HP. If I live, would it be worth it? It might be worth it. I definitely have Needle Queen and Lore Hats, the Token Kiss, to do work. Uh, I'm kind of going to not bring Scarf. Um, Scarf um, Latios. It definitely outsped Hitmonlee, and I should have thought about that. Scarf Latios would have definitely been a great mon and even though it wouldn't have put in work versus this it definitely would have been able to switch into espion and it definitely could do damage to mammoth swine um damage to this damage to this and damage to this if it really came down to that but my heart is literally racing right now i love this this is why i do love league battles it comes down to the wire this definitely kills this oh i definitely love but I don't... Uh. Ah. 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 If I switch out, I don't live. I have to stay in. He has to go for V-Create predicting me. He definitely has foot. I have a ground type right here. Okay. What kind of plays... 
if I let, if I go off to Needle Queen and he gets locked into a V crate, I don't lose, but I find it severely harder to win. Actually, how much does Hitmonlee do to me? Like a Hitmonlee? In your course? No, 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 it's not in your course, but it's admit, it's reversal. How much, how do I tell it how much HP is taken? Oh, wait here. It's at like 1%, so that's literally at like 1. Reversal does so much damage. Ugh. It really does so much damage. Uh, I guess the play is to go out to... I think keeping Neo Queen alive is definitely the play. Go out to Silvavi. Um, if he goes for Recreate, I outspeed with Togekiss. If he goes for Bolt Strike, um, I can go out to Needle Queen and do an Earthquake maneuver. Um, if he goes for U-Turn, uh, I can pivot. U-Turn would actually be a bad play right now for me. He goes for Zen Headbutt. Okay, that won't kill me. I definitely feel confident now. Um, I got to my low take. I press Recover. Hopefully he doesn't get the flinch. If he actually gets the flinch, I lose. But no flinch. Thank goodness. Um, I really want to be at full HP pretty much. He can flinch me at any moment in time. Um, one more. One more. Okay, one more. Just get one more, please. Oh no. I said I talked to the assistant. I talked to so many things into assistance before. It really This will work. Miss. If he misses right now. No 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 no. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I won't be at high enough HP. I definitely would be. I definitely will be. Just kill it. Get no 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 more. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. It's just a temperature. It's just a temperature. No, no, no. Okay. One more. One more. Can we get one more? Can we get one more? Can we get one more? Thank you. Can I just get this off my screen? I'm scared of this. Get this off my screen. Thank you. Just get this off my screen. I'm having a heart attack. I'm scared of that hit Lee. That hit Lee can do so much damage. I am scared. Milotic is a beast. I actually I regretted drafting Milotic sort of when I made the draft, but because I really wanted um I always use Vaporeon, but I felt Vaporeon did limit me um in my first draft, even though I only prepped one week. Um so I chose Milotic over Vaporeon and Why well, I regretted that decision. If he has power up punch, he wins. No questions asked. So he can go from Power punch and win. But I need to get a recover and then scarred one and hope I get the 10% chance. But you guys saw, uh, I went for like, how many scards? I went for like, at least like 8 scards and didn't get a bone at all. Like, okay, maybe not 8, okay, definitely 8 actually. Definitely 8, 8 or 7. And there's 30% chance to bone. And I feel like I'm dying inside. I, I have to win. But I can lose so easily. I feel like my next week opponent is also going to be uh, really hard, and I'm going to feel like this, but I might be more confident, because I know Colin's a good player, so, well, I'm not saying he's not a bad player, but he he definitely knows my habits, which is way more skill, but Colin's easier to predict, in my opinion. Um, Colin can make some really bad, bad plays. He earthquake me. I had a heart attack. Okay, can I get, like, oh, definitely not. Okay, okay, this is how I'm going to play. <laughs> I'm gonna Dragon Tail, so I don't bring it down. I'm gonna Dragon Tail one more time. Actually, he can't kill me. Wow, I'll press recover. Um, I can get a Bon. It's definitely safe. It's definitely he can get a crit. He can get a crit. What do I pull like? How much does we also do if he's at like? How much damage does that do? That is 16. He would be at 24. How much damage does it do? What's his my low tick at 24? Uh, Reversal. Reversal does not do more than close combat, and yeah, it only does 80 base power, yeah. Dragon Toad is definitely my play right now. And then I can, um, score them to mention this one. If I miss, that would be more hilarious, but he can definitely go for double and double. Um, 55 tons by the way, just want to point this out, this is a 55 ton battle. How long has the recording going for? 21 minutes, this is an epic recording. Um, 
But yeah, this is literally week one. 8% chance. At 8... Okay, 8% chance. It doesn't kill though. You... I calc this perfectly. He can get a crit right now. And it, it wouldn't kill. Like, I'm gonna throw this in the thing. He has to go for double end all. I'm not telling him to go for double end all. I'm not telling him for going to double end all. Um... 8% chance to get like a high roll or 8% chance for me to get a crit. Um, I believe crit chance actually is like 6% now, but so what's the crit chance? Crit chance use some what's what's the critical hit chance? Um probability um in generation five it's like a four percent chance actually. Yeah it's a four percent chance it's way less yeah, they nuffed it. Okay, he's taking forever. Well, 56 pawns. He's calcing stuff. I mean, he, why are you calcing stuff? Oh, well, yeah. He doesn't know if you've also does stuff. And he's slow at calcs than me. So, I know this because I prep with him. Which is actually really scary because he knows what um, I like to prepare for. Um, he knows I like to run more fancy sits. Okay, that doesn't kill. Thank you. GG. Should've... <laughs> he lost... Okay, I've got a 3-0 versus Wonderland Ice or Moon or Lost. Yeah, well, that's a pretty good um, record right now. We're at 3 um, plus um, like points, pretty much, because we won 3-0. We got 3 plus points. He got negative 3 points. So I'm hoping we can keep up the positives really well. And if we can't, well, that's going to be in the next week's video. So if you guys did enjoy this draft league video, he pressed, he challenged me to owe you again, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, you can press the like button. Um, if you dislike draft league videos for some reason, you can press the dislike button. Um, if you really like these, I'll be continuing these for at least 9 weeks. Um, I might get into playoffs, but thanks for watching. Goodbye.